The master of the Knights of Ren, simply named Ren, was an extremely powerful user of the dark side of the Force. He was heavily scarred and disfigured below the neck and made no attempt to hide this from his students or enemies. So before we get started, can you please leave a like, comment and subscribe to all that stuff, it really helps the channel grow and produce more great content just like this. Cheers guys. Ren's primary focus was to seek dark side users throughout the galaxy and induct them into his order, the Knights of Ren. Before the rise of the First Order, Ren created an organisation known as the Knights of Ren. These Knights of Ren were force sensitive warriors who followed the teachings of the dark side of the force and based their ideology on the Ren, which was the red bladed lightsaber wielded by its leader. During his experimentation with the dark side of the force, Ren became heavily scarred and burnt, possibly by lava, in the same fashion as Darth Vader. After obtaining this horrific scarring and burning, Ren's passion and determination was reignited, sparking his search across the galaxy for new members to join his Knights of Ren. He searched for the strongest force users he could find, seeking those with a tendency towards the dark side. After hearing rumours of a force sensitive criminal named Cast and his brother Philin using the force to kill over a hundred people, Ren was determined to find the two brothers and bring them into the Knights of Ren. Once the Knights of Ren had found the two brothers, they came under heavy fire from New Republic security forces tasked with protecting the high value prisoners. While the Knights of Ren held back and fiercely fought against the security forces, Ren himself questioned Cast telling him that in order to be inducted into the Knights of Ren, his brother must be killed. Overhearing this conversation, the brother, Philin, murdered Cast, begging Ren to take him in place of his brother. At the revelation that Philin himself was not force sensitive, Ren was forced to reject his induction into the Knights of Ren and kill Philin. Ren's recruitment failure with the two brothers filled him with rage and anger, wanting to find something to burn. Sometime after this, the Knights of Ren discovered an ancient outpost of the Jedi Order on the planet Elfrona. The knights entered the outpost hoping to steal the sacred Jedi artifacts that lay inside the temple. This plan was foiled by Luke Skywalker who confronted the knights inside the temple. Luke was made aware of the location of this temple by the research and help of Law Santeca, who also had a great interest in the artifacts inside. Luke Skywalker along with his padawan Ben Solo and Law Santeca warned Ren and his knights to stay away from the artifacts and leave them be. Ren refused to listen to this command claiming that the artifacts belonged to the knights of Ren. He threatened Skywalker igniting his red lightsaber and intending to fight Luke for possession of the artifacts. The rest of the Knights of Ren readied their own weapons and surrounded Skywalker. Despite being severely outnumbered, Skywalker managed to defeat the Knights of Ren destroying their weapons in the process. With the Knights defeated, Ren stepped up to face Skywalker one on one. As Ren stepped towards Luke, he revealed that he had set up his lightsaber with a kill switch, setting it to explode if it left his hand. Because of Skywalker's unmatched strength and unwillingness to step down, Ren decided to leave but not before pointing out to Luke the significant presence of the dark side within young Ben Solo. He shouted out, asking Ben to contact him if he ever desired to explore the dark side that lay dormant within him. Many years after this confrontation, the burning and destruction of Luke Skywalker's Jedi Temple took place, where Luke saw the dark side surfacing within Ben Solo and was overcome with a brief moment of destructive anger. Although he did not act on this brief urge, Ben Solo felt betrayed by his master, burning the temple down and slaughtering many of the other students. This is the point where Ben Solo finally met Snoke in person after being a voice in his head for years. Snoke recommended that Ben seek out Ren and attempt to join the Knights of Ren. Ben returned to the Jedi outpost, the site of the previous confrontation, and put on the mask of Ren. He contacted Master Ren and requested to join the Order. After being initially reluctant, Having not heard from Solo for many years since the confrontation, Ren finally accepted Ben into the Order on Snoke's word. While the fate of Master Ren is currently unknown, we do know that Ben Solo, who took the name Kylo Ren, inherited the leadership of the Knights as a gift from his master, Supreme Leader Snoke, after proving his worthiness. So that's the story we know so far about the original Master of the Knights of Ren. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to leave a like, comment and subscribe to all of that good stuff. And tell me down below, would you like to see the original master make an appearance in any new canon material apart from the Rise of Kylo Ren comics. Let me know down in the comments below, but cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.